I'm Jeff, and this is my wife Kelly, and we are on the Unschooled Bus, which is also unschooledbus.com, our website, and that's where you can find us. And, and what is the Unschooled Bus? You know, the Unschooled Bus is a our family's home. That's a mobile unit that we built out of a decommissioned school bus, and we live on it full time and travel the country with our three children. Oh, it's like really adventuresome. You go and do different, go to different events like Pork Fest here and um, do unschooling events, homeschooling things, and just try to give our kids some opportunity to go and do things and meet new people and have new experiences and spread this message of freedom. Well, we don't have any set curriculum. Yeah, it's like a, a it's really for, I like to, think of it as extending the philosophy of liberty to your family life. Um, if you're not into authoritarian governments and control and rules and laws, um, we sort of take that out of the family life too and have a more of a egalitarian type family life where the kids have more of a say and they're free to do what they choose to do and we offer guidance and positive modeling. And our kids are just 13 through 16, um, but that Things that I'd be really worried about them doing, or we'd be really worried about them doing, they generally come to us and talk to us even beforehand. It's really about keeping the relationship strong, and and um, I find that of course they make choices that I don't like, or that Jeff doesn't like, or whatever. But we just try to um, negotiate and 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 model positive behavior. I think that for me, it's about um, making sure that I'm I'm honest with how I my feelings about something. But, um, and, and sharing that but not being forceful. It's about voluntary relationships. As far as learning to read and write, my kids went to school early on and they went to private school. So I can't say my kids learned to read on their own, which I still feel they sort of did. You know, they just had, because they each learned at their own pace. And not only that, they have desire to like get out and you know, the community and do things. Like my daughter's running around making signs and selling our services for dog walking and babysitting. And um, it, it's not uncommon for um, any one of our kids to take, get a book and read all day long. Music is a, is Music a big, big our example because our oldest, um, he, I, I have formal musical training and he never really showed an interest in guitar, but all of a sudden we found out he's been making music online with people in Germany doing digital music and it's really expanded from there and that was something that he completely did on his own I mean we didn't we take no no responsibility for turning him onto it or you know getting him involved in it or bringing him to the group that teaches you how to do it or his progress in it he I mean he worked he he found jobs to work to earn money to buy a computer so that he could a better computer that would be able to handle the music he's making and the software he's using he's um, just done a ton of stuff, you know, and each one of our kids has their own, they're just such individuals, and this is a great way for them to be able to be complete individuals. I write, I do a lot of writing, I write about political stuff too, I write about what we're doing, and um, we do videos sometimes, and photos and stuff like that. Yeah, we're very open about our adventures. Sometimes I post videos and things they make, um, I write about them. But I don't, they don't have their own section of it as of now. Unschoolbus.com, we get, sometimes we get donations from people and support and I, you know, I advertise for liberty organizations and stuff like that. And um, so if they want to support or follow along, that's the best place to go or they can find us on Facebook. Everybody has to want to be able to be living on such a close quarters. We have 42 square feet per person on this bus. I mean, we may bicker, we may fight. We have the same problems that other people have at home where their kids might not be getting along or they may have a good day or a bad day. We have all that on the bus too, but in the end it comes down to, you know. We want to do this, we so do we this. try to make it work. Right. And the kids all have their, their, one thing with the bus is the kids all have their own little space. It's really small, but they each have their own bunk and they, own ha they have their own little room area that they can sit in. So they do have a place to keep their stuff safe. You know, and they're, you know, we're... That's something you don't get with an RV. Something you don't get with an RV. So that's helped out, I think, significantly. We make it work. And plus, you can go out, you know, Our, go visit yeah. people. So it's like, they spend a lot of time outside. Our living room is much bigger than everybody else's. I guess my, my biggest advice is to definitely, you know, make sure that you work on your communication. Mm -hmm. 
Be open, have fun. Yeah, be open, have fun, but be willing to c communicate with the people you live with.